Hello everyone and welcome back to some more LFM on ACC. Now today is my ninth and penultimate rookie race uh, at the time of recording the audio for this. I've just completed my 10 rookie races so we are finally out of the rookie series. Uh, this is a race I did at Monza in the GT4s. I believe here I'm in the AMG Mark the V8. Sounds amazing. Um, rear wheel drive, front engine, likes to rotate so pretty fun car. Can't go wrong really. Uh, with the new season starting I've actually been struggling to kind of find time to get races in, so uh, I did like a race the other night in an M2 at uh, Spa, and I didn't record it, I was in a voice chat with a friend of mine, and there was actually a mega race, I'm down to the last corner for a podium, um, fortune came forward, but the whole race was a battle really, but uh, this one here lived up to a very, very good ending, uh, one spot yet, as we get into it, but um, for whatever reason, maybe the GT4s don't have as competitive a field, but um, for the most part, I felt really, really strong in this in this session here, Tim, this evening. So, I uh, had a lot of hope for this one because, as always, you can you do if you kind of sign up for one kind of in an hour's time, you do maybe three or four laps, get an idea of tire pressures, and uh, make slight adjustments to the setup, and then you kind of go in and wing and qualifying, and then after qualifying, you kind of reassess after doing another kind of maybe five laps if you're lucky you got right tire pressure to come up the, the temperature was slightly different to the practice session and uh, so on and so forth so when uh, you do a few laps before and you come in and they instantly kind of know like roughly what you're able to do so like when we come in here and we're doing a low 59 I knew it was roughly what I had kind of done in the uh, in the offline session before where I did a handful of laps just to kind of get an idea of the cars. I feel the GT4s especially are pretty weak on the brakes. We finish a lap here, it is a 15.90, puts us actually P6 believe it or not on the grid so I was actually massively surprised to be that far up the grid. Um, with LFM, some races you join and like you struggle to be in the top 20 and then some like this you're comfortably in the top 10, kind of top 5 almost so it's a it's one of the really interesting things that like sometimes you like you turn up to a race you really feel like the car is working well you feel like you're fast and like you qualify p21 or 24 and then you come to the track where you're like okay don't need practice i don't know what the what the ideal the kind of setup is around here and then you're on the pace it's it's really interesting but as we're about to start the race now i'm on the t1 and um, p6 is still a little far enough back that i could easily get taken out so um, as you can see, I'm trying to really warm the brakes a lot on this warm-up lap, just so that when we do get down to the first chicane, I actually have something to brake with. Uh, tires looking pretty decent in terms of temperature. I do have a problem with the whole race base in my front right. Um, not too sure exactly what way I went wrong with the tire pressures, but essentially just never comes up to temperature. But here we are now for the rolling start. 42, 43. 2.9 43.0 so absolutely on the money on the launch and already it looks like to our right another AMG Merc is after getting less of a launch so straight away it looks like maybe maybe up into P5 P4 it looks to be another 3 so we just kind of squeeze him thankfully he backs up then he is looking in but so far so good as the leader goes way off completely takes out a few boards into the first chicane and we make it through cleanly and that is P4 so we gained two positions off the start and um, you could see there when I looked behind there was car engine to turn one just thankfully it wasn't in the top six so yeah up into P4 the leaders uh, first and second already gone side by side as we go through fast flat out right hander at the start of the lap now as we come down to the chicane already I'm starting to feel like that maybe this is actually a race for a podium I think for myself to be honest when I qualified p6 i always feel if i qualify well it's like oh yeah i really hooked that lap up that's probably not my race pace and i probably will go backwards uh, it was the same when i when i did that service zone race where i came uh, second i was like yeah well i've done well to qualify this far but i'm probably gonna go backwards but at least in this one i was kind of thinking immediately after why well, here we are half a lap in a minute into this half an hour race that i was thinking maybe um they're not dropping me too much and I was kind of thinking, yeah, maybe if I'm just going to stick with them, saying the slipstream, slipstream isn't very, uh, very powerful on this game naturally. So, kind of your run out of the corner is more important to get in the toe. But still, nonetheless, it's nice to have. And you can see here already, we've closed right up to the car in front and through this S section here, this flip flop towards the back of the lap. We were definitely quicker out of the, definitely the car in front of me. And I think some of the cars in front of him as well were. Uh, maybe slightly better in terms of top end I felt like 
uh, whether it's near the rest of the cars and track that those other cars just had again straight line speed over me whereas I feel like I was better in the corners but the leader looks like he's gone off the track the car in front of me P3 base he was out in the Asher turf so it's a uh, early doors here but a few battles going on now we have a decent run and again he didn't get a beautiful run out of the final corner so I'm thinking myself do I have a look into turn one I'm close enough I'm only about basically a car two car lets back now go to the inside brake where I'd imagine with a brake marker he brakes and he just gets the car stopping so much more and I just go straight on I don't know what I did now I was trying to be as respectful as possible again with it being an LFM race the end of lap one I uh, made sure to get out of his way obviously didn't get a penalty because I lost a lot of time myself but uh, I lost a lot of time now we fast forward about a lap and a half and we're pretty much back on them which was really um, inspiring for my confidence really because I was thinking as if well I made a big mistake gave them a second and a half two seconds out they're all close to get their top three so they're definitely thinking oh, I could win this I could have a chance here so I'd say they're all kind of in my boat thinking like it's anyone's race yet so when I kind of caught up to them I was thinking myself yeah I definitely have the pace I just need to kind of play my cards right and it's, it's one of those kind of races you know it's going to come down to the end it's going to come down to a mistake from someone because Monza with the top end speed it makes it hard sometimes just to get past people uh, the lack of corners now again through this section there I was uh, pretty golden I felt like I carried so much entry speed and uh, I was getting a good run onto the back straight and down here and uh, a lot of uh, issues with other cars through here you'll see later in the, the race but again back into P4 pretty much on the back bumper almost again of the car in front of the podium it is in sight so this will be my third podium, I believe. Second or third, third, I think third in the, the first 10 races. So this would be massively, uh, a massive result for me if I get another podium. Because again, when I kind of joined and signed up for LFM, I was thinking like, if I could get like top 20s, it'd be good. So there's no, my, there's no, uh, no question that I've never expected to be getting podiums uh, this far into it and this early. And we actually go and set the fastest lap of the race at the 23 minute mark, which was uh, something I've never done. It was a nice feeling to see it go purple. Once again, we square him up into turn one. Now he kind of moves on the braking, a bit cheeky of him. I'll give him the benefit of doubt, maybe it was lag, but then he squeezes me. So what I do is just park it on the second part of the apex and make sure that basically he uh, does not need to kind of do to get back ahead of me. Because I felt like, you know, again, maybe it's lag, but if you just watch it back, it feels like he brakes and just moves over in the braking zone, which is highly, highly not allowed in racing, sim racing or real life for that matter. But I thankfully was just able to react to it thankfully with the ABS. So I was just able to just release the brake slightly turned in and uh, that was enough really so uh, we've made the pass now we've gotten ahead at this point thinking right he's all over my back wheel but let's see can we push on and a lap or two later and we've actually gapped him from 14 here I miss a downshift and we run on at this point now he's got the run through the chicane and know he's got me and you can just see the two cars in front getting away and he just gets me into the first of the Lesmos, so um, probably pushing slightly too hard, missing the downshift into the chicane there, and it cost me a lot of time. Now you can see the two cars in front are probably, like in terms of Monza gaps, that's huge. And now we have a nice slide out of Lesmo too as well as we take a lot of inside curb. So at this point in the race, I felt like the race was just slipping through my hands. I felt like after what I had done in the first you know, 10 minutes, six laps of it or so, that I was kind of thinking, probably could have had a podium maybe challenge for the win if everything went right but it just uh, hadn't really materialized now we fast forward a good few minutes we go for three laps and at the front everything's bunching up and you see that is another AMG in front of me I believe after going off the pink car on the right of the screen so at this point now I'm thinking to myself mint this is great let me see can I get all over the back of this car now and get it run because his tires won't be in optimal condition they bang doors into the final corner and like i was saying his tires won't be in optimal condition you can see he's a bit of oversteer across my nose i have to lift which again look just look what it's done to the leader's gap and it's really put us kind of in a battle for a second really giving him the win he sets the passes up all the race well so yeah it's definitely quick but also having the clear air and not being messed around has really helped him but i just think to myself now purple car in front seems a bit erratic and uh, it seems like he's gonna make a mistake too so again into turn one Mercedes retakes P2 from the Alpine and we are still sitting here in P4 thinking when will our opportunity come we have to get ahead of the Alpine and get on the back of the Merc because I feel the Merc is going to make a mistake again with it being the rookie series not everyone is a seasoned veteran 
so there's a lot of people you feel like when you're behind there like well I can just lean on this guy and know he's gonna lock up or slide or make a mistake and into this chicane where we've run on previously we go really really late in the brakes and Mark goes across it which which is kind of his third time that I've remembered he actually went off track so at this point I was thinking it's not really the cleanest of drivers and again I was thinking maybe it's probably best not to be too close to him because he's probably going to go off himself but I still had the little issue of a car in front of me but fortunately all there's one two big mistake from him he just dips a wheel on the gravel spins up the road does actually very 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 well to save and not end up sideways I see by uh, later on in the race but currently P3 and I'm thinking to myself, alright, you have to be clean now, you have to be faultless for the rest of this race because you might still have a chance at P2 and uh, you can't really aff afford to give the uh, car behind the Alpine another chance to go ahead because it just, it just shows how hard it is to overtake and um, you really need a good run or a mis nearly a mistake from the driver in front to kind of make an overtake happen cleanly and not to open the door with kind of a pry bar. So, it's coming down now to the final corner. We're over half race distance. And again, now you can see we're pushing on so much. We just go down to the Archer Turf a small bit. And they were really, really pushing just to see can we take a lot of time out of them. Because I know on my own, in clear air, I'm one of the faster of the four of us. I'm probably maybe second fastest to the leader. And uh, the three of us now in the Mercedes towards the front. So. Um, I think myself 11 minutes left and I tried to get a fly but then it was in sector 2 and I got my hopes up thinking that uh, these two are tangled because obviously they have a kind of history to start the race because I felt like when the, the purple mark there in front of was purpley pink mark went off uh, at the end of lap 4 I believe that was collision with the other guy I don't think it was a mistake so I felt like he was probably pushing on trying to get himself a, 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 an opportunity to kind of strike back but we're on here for a pretty fast lap we're doing a 58.4 predicted and they uh, were pushing on now we've definitely dropped the Alpine behind again that mark seems to go deep every lap into that chicane so I was thinking sweet more time on the table now I'm nearly seven tenths under so this lap so far has been brilliant you can just see my inside front right uh, just a tad cold and throughout this race really just not much I could do to get it up a temperature I was trying lots of things but at a track with such long straights and you're flat out for most of it it's quite difficult there's not really anything you can do now jump to the end of lap 9 and I believe we go purple once again we are again the fast car on the track we've jumped away from the Alpine he's about 1.2 1.3 seconds back now and we're pretty close to the sister car in front the other AMG you can see we take a lot of time out of him into the first chicane he doesn't get a clean run over the first curve or the second curve for that matter and to be honest I know the fastest lap himself but it felt like it would look like we might have just taken a bit of time out of the leader too so nine lap or nine minutes here that's about four four and a bit laps anything still can happen really so all it takes is one like you saw hot into the, the Alpine he just dipped the wheel onto the gravel and that was four or five seconds gone massively straight away he lost because he lost the lead uh, or the position to me and then lost kind of two seconds you can see there though as we come out of the second chicane slide over steer from us because we are pushing on because i know sister car it's going to be nearly impossible to overtake so using all of the road and just trying to keep this guy under pressure because i said earlier in the video he would make a mistake and here it comes out onto it he over cracks into the wall I go immediately to the right to make sure I don't get caught up in his incident, which was going to happen. Uh, I think it was pretty obvious. Now, we have a two-second gap up to the leader, maybe a bit more. Now, we jump slightly forward. We have four minutes left. Still a fast car on track. And we are slightly quicker than them. But the issue is, at this point in the race, I'm thinking my first LFM race win is on the table here. I just need to keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. So, I'm absolutely giving it socks maybe overdriving a tad you can see into this first came with managed to gain like two and a half tenths which is outrageous considering it's a pretty much a straight breaking zone so i'm really giving it everything here and it's about 2.2 at the moment i was kind of hoping to get it down to about a second because when you get down to that margin you can kind of hear you to see you in the mirrors and that's where everything kind of gets a bit more uh, frisky but um, in fairness to the leader in the mark he uh, was defending quite well. Again, he was another one that was going very deep in here and I felt was losing time out of this section here. You can see Justin Akash came there, taken back about half a second, it was down to 1.7. But I just felt maybe, maybe a tad slow through here with the front right not kind of gripping in, having a tad bit of understeer. As you see, it goes from 1.7 and does eventually go back up. So, 
there was sections on the track where I felt I was slightly quicker but I just didn't have enough to get onto him close enough to really make an overtake and with two and a half minutes left here I'm still thinking a small mistake from him and I'm on him and I'm putting more pressure on you but you know like when it comes down to a last lap anything can actually happen and you could really you can make something out of nothing and look at the gap is down to 1.6 1.7 and it goes back to 1.9 I'm trying everything at the moment we're almost but we're just two tenths over our fastest lap of the race kind of nearly matching our pace so I feel like the leader was literally matching my pace so if I went quicker he'd find time and really it was just kind of a uh, we we're trading punches at the moment unfortunately I just couldn't really get close enough again it's just there 1.4 we're getting, we're getting closer but it's just the nature of the track it just can lose it to false, false insecurity and with two minutes left here now so realistically we have two full laps left to gain back and like to gain that 1.4 back to him that's huge that is a huge margin and we come down into the first chicane i believe this time we do go a touch deep just that and that definitely cost me small but it looks like according to my delta we didn't but you just see it as you come out of the chicane you lose so much on the on the drive and you giving him a 10 back and you're going to lose time pretty much all along here just by not getting a, a great exit so um, the laws of slow and fast out really work here at Monza if there ever is a place that would show off that kind of a uh, principle of don't chase time on entry chase on exit this is the, the place and again in here it just misses the first apex I actually cut that corner slightly too much I believe I got a penalty maybe not this lap or oh, it was that lap um, again I actually was kind of focusing so much on that braking zone on him and the gap's down to 1.1 0.9 at this point but we just go touch wide and that gives them a better run out of Lesmo 1 and into Lesmo 2 just pulls away again so you can see this race I'm pushing so hard again we have the snap of always there that the previous two cars had and went off but thankfully we have the skill and ability to hold it and I was just thinking to myself like I felt like one step forward 1.5 back I slowly was pulling him in but then I just give him something silly and get away again like the slightly deep into the first chicane he makes a mistake into the second second chicane we actually end up cutting the chicane and getting a warning and also not getting a clean on through i could have been right on the back of him coming down to the final corner about to start the last lap but unfortunately the gap was 1.4 and again without doing anything silly or corner cutting or doing something illegal 1.4 isn't coming back to me because you get to a certain point where he's almost in your way even if you are that much quicker but again around here it's so hard to overtake you do think such a high speed track with a lot of heavy braking zones it's not that hard to level someone it's so difficult to get to move consistently and cleanly done you saw what happened in lap one where we kind of leveled him just let the brake off and broke hard and then the car just skated off the road now starting the last lap 1.7 and really all he has to do now is hit his markers and he has his win in the bag and into the first cane we go so deep but this time we actually get a, a decent exit out so we're up by about a tent again you just see that as you come out of the corner you just start throwing away again so yeah it's a short turn gain and then you give it away the gap is down to 1.4 but I imagine it'll go back up to 1.5 here as we just get into the, the final run of the uh, fast right and again this chicane here is thinking I have to break late I have to break late I have to just see a pinch an extra 10 meters in the braking zone and uh, he goes deep doesn't hit his markers cleanly we get through there pretty decently it's down to a second is it potentially on Basically from here I've probably two overtakes left of the last corner and into the the left hander he's a snap of overseer so do we we are both on the absolute limit here in the final lap of this Monza LFM sprint race again all the way out I think maybe maybe kissing the gravel it's 0.9 we are put 0.4 off for fast lap but considering the tires are after taking beating for kind of 30 25 minutes straight here we are doing our best and get in here just pinching pinching meters in the braking just trying to make it up and down to point seven there at one point and again the run has to be perfect out of there we get a small kind of four wheel drift across the curb and it's point eight and realistically there's nothing i can do into this final corner point eight is far too many car lengths back and i can't really have a look all i can do is brake deep hope that he gets a snap of oversteer gets a lot of understeer or something but in fairness to him i get down to 0.7 so i take 0.8 off him on this last lap i think overall and quicker the issue was i was just trying too hard to catch him and up to the line he gets his win we got our second p2 
and uh, overall you have to be happy with it. You can see on that last lap he did a 59.3, we did also a 59.3 so it looks like uh, the lap times probably aren't right because I gained a lot of time back on him but uh, overall amazing race, really 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 enjoyed it and I saw later in the chat he does say it was his first LFM race so again fair play to him, yeah he handled pressure well and I felt like he probably uh, deserved the uh, win after kind of pulling up with the other the other um, Mercedes early in the race with the banging of the bars and everything going on with that so I felt like there was a, a, a good battle maybe could have happened if I could have just bridged the gap maybe with two or three minutes to go but unfortunately it wasn't to be but once again another stunningly fun episode of LFM I hope you have enjoyed today's video if you did let me know down in the comments what you thought of the race what could I have done better where can I improve I'm always looking to improve on ACC in any racing game really so let me know what you think down in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to see more, and I should catch you all in a future ACC video. Thank you for watching. Slong a